Hey everyone, this is Social Dissonance, also known as Shepard. Today I'll be doing a tutorial with the Giganox with the Heavy Bowgun. I'm going to have to apologize to all of you fans that have been waiting for the Let's Play. I've had some things come up. Uh, predominantly I'm moving and I'm also preparing for my wedding in October. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to do videos, but once I'm all settled, I'll be doing many, many more. So essentially for the Giganox, uh, I was mostly planning to fight him with fire shots, which is why I put together this particular bowgun set. It's got Kuropeko stock and Kuropeko body with a heavy bowgun barrel. But I found actually that based on the number of shots that were just, I was able to load in, that fire didn't really seem like the best because I was only able to load three at a time. With this armor set, I was actually able to cram four Krag level 1 shots in at a time. And if you didn't know, Krag not only does a very small amount of damage when it hits, it also does both explosive and fire damage after it explodes. So if you can load a bunch of Krag shots in, it's a fairly decent replacement to fire shot. At least at low rank. It doesn't scale at all with high rank. But against a guy like Giganox at low rank, it's not a problem at all. So... You know, just naturally with this set, I get five paralysis shots. So I figured, you know, it's it's worth using because it's a chance to get a ton of damage off while he's uh, sitting there paralyzed. That and uh, paralysis shots actually do decent damage on their own if you weren't aware. Both paralysis and poison do damage. Now I try to keep the brightness a little high on this. Hopefully you can see it okay. It looks like it looks pretty clear to me. It's, it's definitely a lot better than my Giganox longsword tutorial. Oops, I meant burst arrow and not scatterfish. Okay, so I'm just going to load a little bit more. And crack shots are just really fun to use. If you weren't aware, actually, if you hit him in the face the explosions actually do a small amount of KO damage. Now, I've never actually KO'd a monster purely through Krag, but certainly if you are with a hammer user or a bunch of other bowgun users, you probably could knock them out. At the very least, the KO damage counts as exhaust damage as well, so there's a small chance I'll be able to exhaust him by the end of the fight if I don't kill him first. So this, bo this set I have right here is pretty much a... You know, I would consider this the low rank version of my Latrion set, as funny as it is to say. It has recoil plus one, it has the blast piercing, so I have Bombardier, and it also has speed setup. So you can pretty much shoot level one status shots with impunity. And then once you have the chance to drop down your bombs, you have speed setup, so you can detonate them fairly quickly. I think that's another skill too. Oh yeah, speed eating. That's always nice. And uh, because I have the heavy, heavy bowgun barrel, the range is just huge. I hate it when it gets right above you. Oh yeah, I gave Cha Cha. It's the ancient mask, well, not the ancient mask, the lamp mask. And along with that, he has ooh, rage up. Just because I thought it'd be funny to see him throwing fireballs all over the place. See, look at all this shot for Norm 2. Is that 8? 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 8. That's a lot. Yeah, and of course if you have the, the heavy bowgun barrel, a shield comes equipped. So, it's almost as good as earplugs against Giganox, because he's got such a long scream, you have enough time to recover before he goes back into an attack. Now, with any luck, I'll be able to break his chest, too. I kind of want to make this like a partial tutorial on how to break both his face and body. But with the bowgun, it's just, it's really hard. So, I'm not sure if ha it hits to the back count. Oh, it looks like I forgot to bring sleep herbs. Oops. I'm not sure if hits to the back count in terms of breaking the chest, but you need to break both the face and the chest in order to get the fearsome maul. Oh wow. <laughs> There's a Michael Bay type escape. I think Cha Cha actually got blown up by those bombs from the looks of it. 
Yes, yeah, so, I mean, this is the case where, with bow guns at least, you know, sometimes it's better to use a less damaging version of a shot if you have more shots involved, because you're just going to spend a lot less time reloading. And again, if you need to block, like I did just there, just don't do anything. Just stand still, and you will block the attack. I think that's one problem people have with bow guns is they don't realize that there are barrels with shields on them and they get really frustrated because it's like, oh, I'm so immobile, I'm always firing and not really able to get anything off ever and they're constantly getting hit. You know, if you have a barrel with a shield on them, you know, you've got no issues at all, at least when attacks are coming. You just need to be patient, you need to keep your nerves together and you'll be all right. So I've done a ton of damage to him so far. I don't I don't know how much longer it's going to take before he dies. An interesting question to actually ask the fans if they know better is if crag shots are affected by bombardier. I would assume they are. But maybe not. Oh wow. Okay, I've got 6 minutes and 14 seconds on my timer. 6 minutes and 54 seconds by Monster Hunter Bizarro time. <laughs> Look at the giggy stuck to me. Okay, again, I'm going to have to apologize. I mean, the problem with the Let's Play is I, I need to do a whole post on the Something Awful forums, and I don't really want to half-ass it. So once I have the time to really put together something really quality, I, I, I guarantee you that it'll be up. Uh, until then, you know, I'm going to be using this HeyPodge HD HDPVR to put off some quality tutorials. So hopefully I'll have something to keep us entertained in the meantime. <laughs> so again, apologies. Yeah, as you can see, I've got a lot of skills there. A lot of skills. Speed eating, crag plus one, speed setup, recoil plus one, bombardier. Pretty good. So in any case, until next time, good luck and have a good hunt.